Hey everybody, this is Dead at Zero again, and I'm back. I haven't made a video in a long time, and I am sorry about that. I am trying to get back into things of it, but I've been having work, you know? Real life stuff happening. Okay, this video is going to be about DX Tori. More specifically, DX Tori 2.0.1, 2, 3. Okay? Uh... This is my favorite video game recording software out there at the moment. Um, this is what it looks like when you first start it. You have all these buttons, you have these buttons, all this stuff. This is your target screen. This gives you your target information, which is whenever you're locked onto a game, you're hooked into it, uh, you're recording from it. Uh, it gives you all the relevant information, all that stuff. You'll never use it, okay? I've never used it. You'll probably never use it either. The only time you've ever used it is if it crashes or something, maybe. Okay. This is your overlay screen. You can select uh, your override option. I mean, overlay. Override. Pfft. Override. Override. <laughs> Whatever. Um, use default settings. Um, what I'd like to do is change this to red. And it's normally about this color. I'd like to change it to red. So I know when I press the record button, it is recording. This is a very important screen. This is your folder settings. This is where you select where you want your things to be played. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, say we just started up the thing first first time, never used it before. You click on this, and you select, you go to the computer and you select your uh, hard drive. Uh, I suggest, if you're really going to be recording a lot of videos, get a second hard drive just for videos. It will save you a lot of headache. I'll tell you. And I, I even made a raw DX Tori video. It's a raw because I have not edited it yet. As soon as you edit it, it goes into uh, compressed DX Tori videos. Okay. Now you got this. It says write speed 0 megabytes. You click the uh, benchmark and you select a very large size and you click run. Uh, my computer will run about, er, I mean, computer, I mean, this hard drive will run about uh, 90 megabytes a second. But you have to realize it's half full. Uh, the less a hard drive has on it, the faster it'll run. Because it's uh, the, the data is getting written further away from the middle. And the further away from the middle you are, the faster it'll spin. Relatively. Okay, that's good enough. We'll just stop it there. 91 megabytes. If you want to, or if you've got more than one hard drive, you can select multiple hard drives and it'll, and it'll uh, split it between each hard drive. It'll save a lot of time, especially if you have a, a two or three slower drives. It'll 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 add up to a higher speed drive. Okay, I don't need one. That's ninety megabytes. That's more than enough from what I'm what I use it for. Okay, here's your stop and start button. I ain't gonna mess with it. It's normally set on F12. I like to set it on F9. Uh, you got your push to talk. Uh, if you have a lot of people that come over or you get interrupted a lot and you don't want to like edit it out later you can have this it saves a lot of time um, that's about all on that screen I don't really use any of that other stuff okay here is your bread and butter this is your movie settings this is what makes it display okay I just use the, the standard DX Toy video codec but this the DX Tori will actually uh, use any codec that is uh, on your computer. I mean, you can, like, if you want a codec, you can download it to your computer and DX Tori will run it. Um, I just use the, DX, uh, the default one, it's fine. If you have Fraps, you can use the Fraps one. And But when, when you use the default DX Tori codec, uh, you can click on this little paintbrush over here. I guess that's what that is. Looks like a paintbrush to me. And you have these five options. Uh, Default, it said it RGB true, a true quality. Um, this is his best quality. It's perfect. It looks like somebody took three bajillion uh, JPEGs, uh, screenshots. Uh, this will take up a huge amount of space, and it's perfect quality. But I use this one. This is high quality. It takes up a lot less space than true quality. And you can't really tell the difference, to tell you the truth. It's so minuscule, the uh, difference, that uh, I don't really care. Especially if you upload your videos to YouTube. If you're some kind of like videophile, 
and you have to have perfect quality all the time, then you do want true quality. For normal people, high quality is better. If you have a slow hard drive, or you have a hard drive that's almost full, you can do compression, and it'll compress, it'll shrink these file size, but it also adds in noise and uh, jitters and all that kinds of crazy stuff that we don't want. We want our videos to look good, professional. Okay, here's your frame rates. You got 10, 20. Uh, this is what they set for movies. Here's 30, 60, and 120. I set it as 30. That's what uh, YouTube plays their videos at. That's what I record at. It makes everything simpler. No having to have YouTube convert it to 30, second, 30 frames per second and all that stuff. I have a file output. I'm outputting to a file on my hard drive. If you want to, you can do a direct show. Trick show, I believe, is for like external video capture devices, like um, like the kind you use to like capture video off of, like a Xbox or PlayStation Three. I got synchronized uh, video F FPS. This just makes sure my my game isn't running at 300 FPS. I'm only recording at 30, and that just makes a bad day. And scaling, scaling is one of the best features of DX Tori. Um, right now I have it set as at 1280 by 700. You can set this as any amount. And what this does is it, it allows you to play your 1080p games on a 1080p monitor, but only record in uh, 1280 by 700 or whatever you want. It's very helpful, especially if you have slower internet and you don't want to upload uh, 1080p files, which is twice as large as this. I mean, I only have like a 3 meg upload or a uh, 3 meg download. And it is slow uploading. Like, for me, guys, to tell you the truth, to upload a 30-minute video, several hours of uh, sleeping for me because I do it at night. But this, I found this is the perfect settings. You got the uh, high quality, no compression, 30 frames per second, uh, synchronized video FPS, and then you do the size to whatever size you want. This is my favorite. Next, we have the audio settings in my honest opinion this is the best feature out there any other video recording software for video games stuff like this this has the best audio recording features uh, you can have multiple tracks you can have up to eight so you have eight they just disappear uh, let's get rid of them okay uh, I have a virtual audio cable don't mind that that's just for splitting audio so people don't have to hear my team speak or Vigerlo buddies uh, while we play games. Okay, that's my Samsung Meteor mic. Okay, this is my just regular game 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 sound microphone. No, that's a headphone. Yeah, that that's what I hear, like when I'm playing a game. Okay, and then you pick your microphone. I have two. I actually have several, but only two are plugged in. I got my HD Pro webcam, which is a Logitech. And I got my Samsung Meteor mic, which is what I'm going to use right now. And then you set your volume. Mine's set at 14%. If I set it higher than this, I would bust your guys' eardrums. This is a very sensitive mic. And then I just select the default here. I mean, uh, 4,800, I mean, 48,000 by 16 bit. That's the highest my software can record. I mean the the microphone software too, but whatever. I mean this will go up the that, which is crazy. I mean, who cares except for maybe an audio file? Okay, screenshots. Nobody cares about screenshots, but here's a screen. You can do scaling and file format and that kind of stuff, but nobody cares. And then you have your advanced settings. This is nitpicky kind of stuff uh, if you have multiple GPUs you can enable this so your GPUs can work better to re uh, record your videos if you have a sucky GPU but a pretty good CPU you can use this um, it forces the CPU to do all the processing if you have a multi uh, uh, multi-core CPU you can do this I s suggest if you're going to be recording videos and playing games you get at least a quad core and you set it as two processors or more. And then you can limit your uh, video FPS right here. 
Now this is what I keep mine as. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just global settings, check for update, that kind of stuff. It just has to do with this window itself. And this is your error log, your environmental information. If something happens to DXTory, it'll show up here. Something will turn red. Okay, this is your DXTory video capturing editing stuff. Let me open up all these. Okay. These three right here, you'll probably not use unless you're doing a specialty project or you have to convert files to different files and stuff like that. This one right here, you'll use a lot if you do live streaming. You can use it to output uh, different files to different programs. Say you use, um, can't remember the name of the program, but I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, but you use that program to live stream to uh, livestream.com or something like that. You select your files, your then your resolutions, your images, your frame rates, and it'll take whatever you're you're recording from uh, the X stories or whatever game footage, and you can put it straight into your live stream program. That way, you don't have to have like the live stream recording in and recording your everything else. It makes it a lot easier, let me tell you. Okay. Well, that's about best for DX Tori. Uh, let, let me just give you some helpful information here. On the video recording, if you have a sucky CPU, sucky GPU, sucky uh, hard drive, sucky internet, set everything to low. It will make your life easier. It might not look good, but you can still record. Compress if you have low hard drive space or you have a slow hard drive. Don't compress if you have a high speed hard drive, but like a, so, a slow CPU. Compression will slow down your CPU. It takes up clock cycles on the CPU. Okay. Frame rates, leave it at 30. No one cares about 60 or 120. Uh, if you put a video on YouTube, it'll convert it down to 30, so it doesn't matter. Uh, clipping, you can use this if um, you're playing something that has a border. Like, um, I can't think of a game that has a border. But if you're like playing like like a like a, a game within a game or something like that, you can actually use this to clip down it so you have a, a whole screen instead of black bars down at the bottom or on the side. And scaling. Just use whatever you want. I suggest this though. It's it's high def, but it's not 1080p. If you have super slow internet, you might want to go lower. If you have high speed internet, you might want to go larger. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you. My name is Dead at Zero. I do want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>